It's like taken out of one of our own dreams. Gold and platinum started to rain from the sky in Siberia more than a week ago. The accident was just part of a routine takeoff that went incredibly wrong. According to the news, Nimbus Airlines AN-12 cargo plane was carrying no more and no less than an estimated $378 million worth of gold, platinum and diamonds. Almost nothing, huh? The worthy cargo belonged to the Canadian mining company Kincross Gold. The problem was that while taking off from Yakutsk Airport back on March 15th, what happened was the cargo hatch opened and spilled almost 200 gold and platinum bars that weighed about 3.4 tons. We're sure that someone will get fired for this. Imagine flying and just doing your regular flight takeoff and you have your life changed forever after 5 minutes. You just lost millions that you were in charge of. It's incredible that the pilot didn't crash the plane before landing to avoid the endless lawsuits and reprimands that he'll get shortly. The bars landed everywhere. Can you imagine being in your backyard and having a gold bar fall from the sky? It seems that the bars landed on the Yakutsk Airport runway. But what's more exciting is that the plane had to make an emergency landing at the Magan Airport 10 miles from the takeoff location. And we're pretty sure that it dropped more along the way. But what went wrong? Well, according to Russian news agency TAZ, it was the ground crew's fault. Maybe they didn't secure the cargo properly. Nobody was hit or injured by the cargo dropping and there was also no structural damage. None of the bars hit any vehicles or structures. They're so lucky. Now what's happening is that treasure hunters are flying in from all over the world to Siberia to see if they can find the remaining bars. But wouldn't you? The glittering cargo has made the world shake and for one good reason. If you come up with one of them, you'll be rich in seconds. The 200 bars are scattered all around and we can say that Kulpol Goldmine never thought they'd be creating the world's most expensive scavenger hunt. As it gathered height, the cargo door became damaged due to the shifting of cargo and part of the cargo was scattered on the runway, Russia's investigative committee said in a statement on Telegram. 172 bars have been found weighing around 3.4 tons, the local interior ministry told Taz State News Agency. Only part of the gold fell out. Altogether, there were around 9 tons in there. A Russian spokesman for the company, Stanislav Borodyuk, told Interfax News Agency that all the cargo has been picked up, there are no losses. He said the bars were Dore, a semi-pure alloy of silver and gold. Investigators said the problem on takeoff was likely due to the cargo not being adequately stabilized. Can you imagine how fast and hard these gold and platinum bars fell? We're sure they were hard enough to kill somebody in the act. People watching the scene thought, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Well, not correct. It's a cargo full of gold bullion just, you know, falling from the sky. No one was hurt, but someone may get a little wealthier. We wouldn't know until now if someone got one of the golden or platinum bars in his or her hands. The search still isn't over. Another thing that isn't over is the investigation into exactly what happened. The aftermath shot shows the cargo plane in a terrible state, so it looks like it was a complicated incident to manage, whatever the cause was. $363 million was the value of the cargo that was released by the plane and some people have said that a bling mad Russian celebrity owned the cargo but we already know that the gold's owner was the Chukota Mining and Geological Company and we know this because they've been talking out loud about how mad they are with the turn of events. But can you blame them?